Hallelujah. I thank the Lord for the mighty word unto our hearts tonight. And um, one of my job is to ensure that we get to the end. To the end. To, to the end. My job is just not nice. Because most great folks can't angle the end. Can't angle the end. Moses was God's man. <clears throat> For the exodus, for the journey, but not for the promised land. Who might is Joseph? He was not for the promised land. Joshua was for the promised land. Because, because Moses was mighty, but he was angry was angry that anger no matter how we are mighty if we are angry you're not a promised land man no he's gone to heaven because he's when he's up there he's a different body so you don't have to worry anymore he's in there already come on somebody but we have to perform on earth are you there glory to God and our job is there are many who have been chosen and they still don't occupy. You see, many, 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 many. And there are a lot of folks who are in danger of just being chosen and don't utilize the choice of God. Are you there? An angry person. An angry, angry. Always angry. They're angry sometimes. And the Bible says, sin not. But angry, always angry, always on the edge, always chip off, always every day they're fighting with their wife, or fighting with their husband, or, or, or they're fighting with somebody. They're always in contention. They just can't have peace. They're always just restless. The Bible said, don't keep company with them. They do that. Strong, strong, strong. The Bible said, I mean, this come like you don't fit this sermon. Don't worry about that. An angry person. God said, don't keep company with them. Could you help me that, that verse, young lady? Proverbs 1, right. come on. Glory to God. God said, an angry person don't keep company with them. Now, if it's your, if it's your wife, you have to live. But you have to, you have to no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what's going to happen. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Anybody got the verse? Ain't no friendship with an angry man. And with a furious man, don't go with him. Don't even go anywhere with him. Are you serious? Why? Lest thou learn his ways and get a sneer. Are you there? A lot of, a lot of angry people in the church. A lot of anger. I don't know how it's going to work out. Glory to God. Another thing you're careful of is a spoiler. You try not to be a spoiler. Every great thing has spoilers. You just talk about one Judas. Every great thing. Jesus couldn't do, no, do nothing. Oh, when Jesus said, yeah, you know, the one who dip in my cup, going to do what he do. Yeah. Listen, if you tell me, if you tell me that the one that go into the, the road next to you, <laughs> going to betray you, I run out of the church. Yeah, come on. <laughs> and I don't want to see you again for the rest of my life. Yes. You don't understand me. You don't understand me. This, you always say, I'll not be a spoiler. The enemy always raise up spoilers to resist the great thing happening. There's always a spoiler. There's always somebody want to go back to Egypt. There's always somebody say, Egypt is better. There's more money in Egypt. Bishop, what does that connect with what the preacher say? There's more food in Egypt. There's more jobs in Egypt. The, 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 the mandates are failing in Egypt. So I can get job in Egypt. And what they don't know that they're doing, they're trying to damage the prophetic. They are trying to show that they can resist 
and reject the fulfillment of prophecy, don't do that. Prophecy will, prophecy will rip you. Don't be a spoiler. Don't, don't be a spoiler of anything proven. Don't be a spoiler. Oh, you have good reason to be a spoiler. Don't be a spoiler. No matter what your husband do, you, you don't be a spoiler. You will be, don't be a spoiler with what has been fulfilled. Because everything, remember, 60 left Jesus. Remember, one third left heaven. Spoil gods. God. So, it means it's not hard. So, number one, somebody say anger. Number two, spoiler. Then the third one is the hardest one to tell you. Don't be a kingmaker. Let me tell you who's a kingmaker. A kingmaker is a person that they take it as their job. I'm looking out for who's going to be the next leader. And if it doesn't, if, if, if it's not like I want, then it's going to be trouble. I'm telling you. No. And, and, and here this is always good people do that. All the good people try. Don't be a kingmaker. I could talk about king takers too. You know, like Adonijah who tried to take the throne from Solomon. I could talk about spouse maker who tried to prevent somebody from marrying to somebody because they have an agenda. Or to get somebody to marry to somebody. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in church. <laughs> Don't be a king maker, a king taker, a spouse maker, a spouse taker. But the main one, the main one, don't be a kingmaker. Do not be a kingmaker. To wreck your life. Anybody heard of um um anybody heard of uh, uh who was this again? The the the, the 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 brothers of Joseph. Even even his parents. And when God spoke to him and showed him that you're gonna be the head. Come on, what they did. They tried to damage him. Eh? And, and what happened? Trouble took them because when famine came and they went to they went to Egypt, what happened? And the stuff was found among them. And they got into trouble. And then they thought that their brother, come on, was going to imprison them or kill them or whatever. Another thing you be careful of, never calculate uh, a visionary. You'll, you'll jump over a cliff. Amen. Do not you ask God. Do do not try to calculate a visionary. We did um, some teaching in the past called the values of a visionary. A visionary cat is not moved by your experience, your education, your relation. That's right. Kinship. Kinship. Are you there? You're always be careful how you calculate. Remember, there was a there was a prophet. I think his name was Elisha, and all the wicked people came to kill him. To kill him, and when they came to kill him, they got into trouble, and now they were cornered. Then everybody thought the prophet would say, "Now they are cornered, kill them." The prophet said, "Feed them." Come on, 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 don't sit with the normal self, don't sit with the normal self, you know, and if I raise up to be the prime minister, the prime minister, oh, he's going to make him the president. <laughs> and you end up in error, error, you remember there was a revelation that came here that there's going to be a, 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 an erroneous accusation. Anybody heard that? Anybody remember? About two church? That there's going to be an erroneous accusation. What it means? They're going to be wrong. They're going to make an accusation that this is being done. And are going to be so wrong. But when they're wrong, it's realized they have damaged other people. They have caused people to listen to their error. Thought it was true. And damaged their life. Damaged their future. Are you with me? Glory to God. And anytime 
you try to be a kingmaker, you're going to err. You're just going to err. Anybody remember Jesse? Yes. Come on. Anybody remember Jesse? Samuel went to Jesse's house and said, God, tell me to anoint. What he, he go and begin to call out who is the most muscular? Huh? And who is the most handsome? And who is the most tall? Huh? And call him. He was trying to be a kingmaker. He had to be rebuked. Are you there? He was disappointed. Yes. Are you with me, somebody? Yes. All we brought out, all his choice was rejected by God. Amen. When it comes down to vision and a visionary, be careful. Don't calculate, discern. Yes. No. Ask God. Yes, you will die because of the wrong conclusion. Oh, somebody. A visionary will give you his car and walk. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. A visionary will, will come off TV and never want to hear his name again. Folks, I understand. Word of God. Anybody heard of um, um, Solomon? Solomon became king. I'm going too fast. Anybody heard of David? David's own son try to take the throne. Am I right? He actually took the throne in a way. I hit me somebody. Absalom. Are you there? Glory to God. <laughs> I must go with it. A man called Ahithophel. He was close to David. And because he was close to David, he went to Absalom people and said, listen, don't worry. I will tell you the details about David. And they didn't follow his counsel. And he committed suicide. I'm going to tell you, tell you, king, king maker, he was trying to be a king maker. Yes, he, he chose Salah, uh, Absalom, come on, over David. Yes, he lost his life. He lost his life. God dealt with me as I was on my altar. I couldn't come tonight. I could not come. And God said, what are you going to do? You're going to wait until you hear something? You're going to wait until you hear tragedy? Don't you see how fast the thing's being done now? Every time you know, you think something's going to happen, you think it's a moon, and it's the following day! A heed of hell! Said, I'm going to, all the details I know, I know his details, I know what he eat, I know every shoe he has, I know the details, don't worry, I'll get you in Absalom. Guess what? He was not good enough for somebody to kill him. He killed himself! Suicide means damnation. Death don't mean damnation. Amen. Suicide means damnation. He's damned. Yes, sir. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anybody heard of Solomon? It's mixed up now. Yes. Solomon was chosen to be king. Even though he was the youngest. Or the younger. Yep. Are you there? Yes, sir. Adonijah was the older. He yeah. should be the older. But God chose the younger. Yes. You, you know, fight who God chose. How come you believe in all the prophecy before? Been using it and announcing it. Come on, Bishop. And when you see evidence of what you call choosing, you say no. So all of a sudden, I don't want to go. Is that God said this time? Are you there? Are you listening? Yeah, that's contradictory. Yes, that's confusion. You're already wrong. Because you already been using the prophecies. And you already know they, they're proven. Yes. You already know they got there by God. Because they are by God because they fulfill. Yes. You can't fight that. There's no big... Are you there? Yes. So how come when you see evidence, come on somebody, of what you think is a choice, all of a sudden, that is not of God. I'm not with it. I'm with what I think. And with what the ones who are related are the ones who are experienced, are the ones who are decorated, are the ones who are coronated. I'm not with it. No, you're confused. You're there. You're contradictory. You're contrary. Bishop, what happened? You're not talking about the brother's sermon. I'm right in there. I heard him right there. I heard him right there. 
I can be very careful. Be good in the church. Do everything in the church. But do not align with kingmakers. No, you are kingmakers. Don't align with them. They will destroy you. They will disarray in your life. They will ill. They will ill bad and make you feel ashamed. Are you there? The very thing that they say, oh, that's what he's trying to do is the very thing he said would never happen. You know what's going on right now with all the bee stuff? Huh? I watch who you hang with. You hang with me. You could be my brother, my uncle, my aunt. Come on, somebody. And I see you're entangled. You got no power to draw a line. Huh? And you have to take my little self. And said, ah, I'm going to put you there. Are you there? Are you listening? A successor is not a plaything. A successor, a successor is not the same as a, as a overseer. In the harvest army, the highest overseer is fifth in line in leadership. The highest overseer. You get me? It's fifth in line on the top. It's not the same as a successor. A successor ain't no play. God of, huh? You remember one time, some, 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 a woman said to Jesus, let my two boys be one on your side and one on the other side. Are you listening? And G, what Jesus said, can they bear the cup? Can they hang the price? And here the two silly guys. Yes, we can. And some people believe that's why they, they, uh, the disciples got so much trouble. So much persecution. Because Jesus actually mentioned, I said, okay, okay. So this is why it's going to happen. Are you there? Yeah. Listen. On Saturday night, on Saturday night, I saw one of the most burdensome revelations. I saw folks gathered at my house. Not my present, but at my house. And they all gather and they're searching for something. They're searching for something. And they said, there's a treasure at your house. There's a treasure. And they're searching. They're digging through the bedroom. They're opening the door. They're digging up every, and they begin to pack up different and make different piles of things they gather. And so we got to find it. There's a treasure. I got to find it. Even people who have, have gone off to other church are involved. And they all said, no, we got to find that thing. We gotta, and they all said, oh my God, it turned my house upside down. Some even brought their own thing that looked like something there and put down their own thing and take up my thing that looks same so I can think it's my thing. Are you there? Are you there, somebody? I said, Lord, what is this? I said, Lord, what is this, Lord? This so bad. I said, Lord, the Lord says, is the obsession towards who is your successor? Are you listening? You're not listening. It's the obsession. Huh. The obsession is an obsession. Who gonna be? Who gonna be? You know? And out of it came what I call succession tales. Because folks, instead of seeking revelation, they, they aren't a suspicion. What did he say last year? Did you record it? What was on that tape? What's on that paper? What's in that drawer? To see if you get any in there. That's all they're going on. Crazy. Compulsive. Obsessive. I said, what? Succession. And the Lord began to deal with me. And said, what I give you, you don't even know how major it is. Because sometimes God can give a nobody something because only a nobody can carry it. He repeated, Shaka Bakata. Because if it's a somebody, they will kill him. Yes. Are you there? Because nobody, they, they think, oh, he's a nothing. Leave him alone. But he's carrying the God said, that's what I made you. You're a nothing. But what I gave you is so mighty. <laughs> don't play with successor. Huh? You don't play the successor. Huh? Will they be able to bear it in this generation? In this generation, this generation is blotted. Amen. You could be experienced, you could be decorated, you could be related. 
Come on, you're not in the pot yet. It's too major. Come on, somebody, glory to God. Are you there? So beware of the blunders of kingmakers. Don't become one. None of you are it. You're not in that category. Are you there? But don't become one. You don't want to see going that way. Don't learn. You will die. Yes. I even for a day. Joab died. I be attacked. The priest died. Yes. Shimei died. Yes. died. Yes. It's the quickest thing to kill you. Do not. Like, hey, you see that song coming in the church? Somebody, somebody could talk, talk. Somebody could you see what we should do? Yeah, you see that? You see that move? You're so disrespectful. You're so light-minded. You're so fickle. I move like this. And you don't take it so lightly. Oh, so stand up everybody. Succession ain't no pain. Just like Jesus said, are they willing to bear the price? Can they handle? You take your little self, your little, come on. And you, and you heal it, your son. So put my son, what the out of order lady? Yeah. So put my son one on the right and one on the left. A lot of good people doing those stuff. Listen, if you've got the right person, they can handle it. They could be the most experienced. They could be the most related. Are you listening? They could be son, wife, uncle. Are you there? And they're not chosen by God. They will let me. No matter who want to put you up and say, you are my candidate. Don't let them break down your acumen. Amen. Don't let them damage your image. Yes, Don't let them damage your reputation. Say, leave me off. Me all there. So three things. Anger. Spoiler. Spoiler. And kingmakers. Keep away. Don't, 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 don't go have dinner with them. Because when they finish with your ears, you will leave your job. Because it hit you. It put you in disarray. Because after all, who, oh, who, oh, he just made her the choir leader. Wow. God don't work that way. If he's a man of God or a woman of God, he has to follow God. Yes. He pay the price. Yes. Quit your little, your little stuff. You look you look normal. You know, um, backyard approach to God work. Don't analyze. A visionary move of God. See God. Marakata. Get down in prayer fasting. I say, God Almighty, speak to my leader. Talk to my leader. Marababa. It seems like they are, they, they, they are trying to push him this way. Lord, speak to him. Don't put your hand in there. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We don't want to bury nobody now. Amen. Yeah, there's nobody. Obviously, I'm not in that category. But just beware. Just beware. Don't, don't let them get around you. You're gifted people. You're resourceful people. You're a few people like you, but I know the devil. I know the devil. God said, they, God prophesied that there'll be a, an erroneous accusation. They don't say, oh, this is what he's doing. Say, the Lord rebuke you. Get out of my hair. God is not confused. What he begins, he ends before he begins. That's right. He has it all in control. It's already done. So, so come out of it. Come out of it. And tell them, come out of it. Oh, I can I help somebody here? Eh? I know it's kind of over the top. But we in prayer. Father. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to even arrive here tonight. For God, so many things are happening. So many things, Lord, out of the ordinary that we cannot control. The, the, it is so, so much destructive things. 
But Lord, you have called us, the chosen, as us preach tonight. Move upon us, Lord. We'll stay in line because it is fixed. The end is fixed. Lord, I pray that we'll not step out. We'll not be influenced. We will not be victims of suspicion and rumors and dark diatribes. And disrespectful conclusions. Cover your sins under the blood. Those who are here tonight and throughout Florida, throughout America, throughout the world, I cover them under the blood. I rebuke yeah. every hindrance to the occupation. They'll go beyond being chosen and they'll be occupiers in the promised land. Lord, don't let us be like those who went through the journey, who exited from Egypt, went through the journey, but did not enter. Let us not be like that. Give us the entrance, Lord. Yeah. Entrance feet. Entrance mind. Entrance spirit. Entrance anointing. Rakashaka ba 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 ba. Occupation. Somebody say occupation. occupation. Somebody say in the name of Jesus. Name I am an occupier. No hunger. No, no spoiler. No kingmaker. Go stop me from being an occupier of the promised land. I'm anointed for the promised land. I'm God's man for the promised land. I'm God's woman for the promised land. In Jesus' name. So I say amen. <laughs> yeah, the men want the women to say men and they, no, they don't want to say woman. Oh Listen, church, if, if you really want a real thing, you say it's going to be off. The need stuff is not it. I'm telling you, when, when God speak, you have to come up with it. When somebody die, don't it, don't it throw off everything? So you must can try some throw off to prevent death. You, you didn't get me. You did not get me. <laughs> you didn't get me. A pastor and his wife concluded that their leader didn't want them to be in the church. So they're always, you know, worried. If their leader show up, they make sure they don't ask him to do nothing. You know, because I don't think he like us to be here. You want to move us. If the leader wants to move you, you know, just move you. Are you there? Yeah. Not knowing. That, that leader saw them as the most perfect people. Let me be careful. Error, you call it erroneous accusation. Not realizing that the leader saw them as the most perfect person. You know? Some folks saw, saw a young lady, you know, and say, Oh, the bishop don't, don't like that lady. Don't like that a lady to do certain things. I can't tell her everything. The bishop don't like that lady to do No, you know. So because they conclude with a little self, you know. <laughs> you don't like it. They start a little bandwagon and set a special prayer against the lady. I can't tell the detail. The bishop loved that lady. He's all his mother and his wife before that. You see, you see, hey, you have to be careful. Hey, because I'm not going to tell you what that lady became. <laughs> see, you don't get it. You don't get it. You say, oh, because I preach against you, today they think that I don't love you. Because I say, don't just like that. Don't like that. Don't you just like that. No, no, I said, I said let's jump on her. Can we show her? No. And if she do one most love, you don't know. Do not calculate every January. You don't go work this. That's why they call it visionary. They don't do things by normal. 
If they feel strange, and God do that. God, just leave on one side, Lord, all night. When you go, when you go home, go on your knees. And don't go with some cheap talk. And some disrespectful talk. And some little talk. Come on, with your wife, your husband, with your brother. You say, don't, don't do that. Amen. Don't do that. Stay in the spirit. Stay in the Holy Ghost. And if, if, you, if, you, if you have been influenced, break off from them. Amen. And tell them don't do it again. As I say, in the army, they're not in the army. But we don't want them to come.